One UI 8 Android 16. The version here is ZYF3. Believe it or not, but I installed this as a test firmware. Now people are saying that Samsung apparently rolled this out as the second official beta. Yeah, it's One UI 8 ZYF3. And they have a big bunch of things they fixed. Apparently there are some bugs that they fixed. And I have to be honest with you guys, I've probably been affected by those, but since I'm using the internal test firmwares and I'm like, we are like always one step ahead thanks to the great guys from XDA. I'm gonna put the link down below in the comments, go check them. Honestly, I was not really suffering that much from those issues and my biggest pain, yes, was certification, which I battled. Yeah, but even with certification, I had some issues with my Google Wallet. So now guys, let's first check what are the new things. So apparently there is also a new feature. They added user feedback feature to improve <laughs> into better performance if, if that's your thing. And you know, Galaxy AI is really big on this. AI features, well, you can use that one. Bugs that they fixed, fixed the now brief text alignment issue and the morning brief screen persisting issue. So I'm gonna to try to show you how this looks right now. There has been this issue when you unlock your phone and that the now brief and the bar was just a bit intended to the left. Improve battery widget icon, you can check this as well. Fix the issue with widget size on lock screen increasing. Fix an intermittent fingerprint recognition screen failure and recognition errors, never suffered from this. Fix also some intermittent fingerprint unlock errors and file movement functions in secure folder. I didn't test it so much, probably it was a bug, but I'm not affected by this. Fix the issue with volume being lowered when making a Bluetooth call in the vehicle. I've never had an issue with that. Fixed an issue where no sound is heard when notification arrives during game. Never had this problem at all. Fixed non-functioning errors in Galaxy AI weather and time wallpapers. All right, I didn't test it, I don't know. Fixed the issue of not being able to go back when gesture recognition is enabled. Fixed the issue of error command icon disappearing when S Pen is detached. And fixed an issue of the alarm sound not ringing when the clock up is not updated after the beta update. Yeah, this I can confirm because I have shown this in one of my many videos I did about this. But then guys, software stabilization through updates to many apps, including camera app and many other improvements. And as we can see, this is indeed this version. It is the ZYF3 with a security patch level from 1st of June, guys. Now, have in mind that this will increase also the version of the bootloader V4, which means that once you install this, uh, yeah, it's not so easy to go back. People say it's impossible. Yeah, it's very hard, guys. So have in mind if you try like the official Samsung One UI Beta 2 or you just try this test firmware. Yeah, you're gonna be stuck on this and uh, we will have to rely on future updates. Also, I've just seen today, before I started to work on this video, there is already a newer version of a test firmware. I'm not sure it's like the 11th or 12th already. It is the ZYF5, but I'm not installing this right now because I just wanna share some of the things. So now this here is my evening brief, okay, with a now brief. And one of the issues before was that when it, it was appearing here, you know, it was problematic. So uh, you can also get the now brief on your lock screen. And now guys, something that we can also test, I'm gonna just go here and try to add a battery widget. I also don't like it that when I even try to add it on a new screen, it always goes back and just adds it somewhere else. What I'm gonna do right now, I'm going to add some other battery widgets. So let's go to battery. All right, so let's add, wow, battery status list. Okay, let's add this one, guys. This one, it's cool. You see, see what I'm talking about, guys. This is definitely not good, and Samsung should really fix that one. Yeah, this is not good. I mean, it's default behavior, but I don't really like it, and I probably will add another one, so let's just go to widgets one more time, one final time, guys. I don't have space for the other one. So um, yeah, see what I mean? It just adds it there, but I don't want it to be added there. I want this to be here. So now they said that apparently mm, this thing is fixed. So I'm just checking on the alignments. Okay, no, doesn't look that bad by the way. Can we do something with this? We can apparently resize it. So let's try to resize that one. Can I resize this as well? Let's try. All right, I can. So this can go like this and this and this. And uh, so there are like three options. Option one, two, and option three. Can I resize the small one? One, two, three. Okay, good. So I'm thinking, yeah, this one, absolutely it works. This is good. Now let's check some of the now brief settings. So we have the now brief here. Okay, get personalized briefing and you all know how it goes, guys. We have this option to expand the now brief without unlocking and we have content to be included. Now you can see Samsung really add a lot of things. We have health and wellness, travel events, task routine. So there's gonna be a lot of things on this now brief. YouTube shorts included battery status, music and podcasts, moments, communication. So all of this will go there. And eventually you can decide to also expand the now brief without unlocking. So when you see the now 
bar on your lock screen you can just tap on this and unlock it all right let me just try to put some music on i started mr playboy cardi but without sound for obvious reasons now i'm gonna get it here okay now it, it's good by the way you can just see the way it just unravels i really like it guys yeah, it's not liquid glass, <laughs> apparently, but the animation is cool. And you can just go here and boom, have it. So what happens when I go on my always on? One of the best things that I like about One UI 8, I think I think also One UI 7, but now, of course, I'm using One UI 8. You get these things on your always on, and they're really cool because this thing here now is on my always on. And I can double tap to enter my lock screen and it will start to move. And from here, guys, I can expand this very beautiful music player. Yeah, again, there is no liquid, no glass here, but it just looks gorgeous. Let me know what you think now in the comments. And one more reason why I do like uh, the now bar on my lock screen, because I can just go here and put a timer, all right? And now you know how it's gonna work, right? I'm gonna have the timer here, right? And when I click it, the timer is gonna be on. But what happens when I play Spotify? Right now I can minimize it. And now guys, by double clicking, I'm gonna have actually these two things. And honestly, guys, it doesn't really matter how we mock Samsung. This implementation is cool. And I know, like you can tell me, yeah, you know, they ripped off Apple with the great dynamic island and stuff like this, but everybody in the industry is doing it with Origin OS Island, when this said that, I don't really care as long as it serves me, it has a purpose and it's good. But why? Why One UI matters here, right? When I go on my always on, you can see that my little sweet timer actually does work. And we can see now the now bar is perfectly aligned. So always on display, you know, my widget works. Yeah, I know, maybe it's gonna drain some battery. Who cares? I mean, we don't live in the Stone Age, <laughs> of course. Now double tap, go into the lock screen and you can see the animation here, guys. It's just so good, all right? Always on lock screen. And while I'm on my lock screen, I can just shuffle this thing. Like I just feel like a professional card player, like crazy. I can stop it, by the way, yeah? I stop it and now I unlock my phone and it's going to be here. Why? Right? I can restart it, right? And then boom. Yeah, this is the beauty of One UI 8. It's probably one of the best, if not the best, mobile operating system with stock customizations. And I'm just thinking, guys, with One UI 8 and with the animations going really very smooth, I think that Samsung can finally kill this. So this is why it's important that we follow through all these betas and see what they do. Now, because they mentioned camera and they mentioned also camera upgrades, I want to see what the version of the camera is because they said that they updated it and the version now is 16.0.0.25. Do we have any new stuff in the camera, guys? Not so much, but when you go to video, right, and you switch the front camera, yeah, you're going to have this high there lock function. If that's your thing, you can go and shoot lock with your front camera. Maybe you're a, a vlogger obsessed with color grading. <laughs> Maybe there is like a custom scenario for this. Something else I wanna check is when I enter here in my settings and scroll down to security, I always go to updates. And now guys, you can see the security update from the 1st of June. The Google Play system update is from 1st of May. I don't like this. I'm checking for an update. Do we have an update? Yes or no? Oh yeah, there is an update guys. So let me restart my phone. Here my phone restarted, guys, and yeah, you know, something also that I think Samsung should kind of improve. Every time you do restart your phone, it feels like you're just waking up your buddy who was drinking all night, and I think they can do better here. No, there is no latest one. So yeah, this is it, guys. This is the latest state. So indeed, the Google Play system update is from May, but security update is from 1st of June. And security updates are important, guys. You can always go and visit Samsung Mobile Security. Under June, you're gonna find the latest things. And inside, you're gonna see what uh, um, vulnerabilities they fix, such as sometimes can be very critical, or let's say not so critical. How do we know this? This is based on the severity. If it's moderate, then it's probably not a big thing. But sometimes, guys, let's check the May ones. Sometimes there are some things that are indeed critical and this means that it's always best to stay on the latest security updates. And you can, of course, also go and visit the Android security bulletin. Hope, guys, that you have liked this video. Stay tuned with more updates. You can see I restarted my phone. It remembered that my timer was paused. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And also, don't forget that that very very soon this beast of a phone the vivo x200 ultra is gonna try to battle with the s25 ultra and with the iphone 16 pro max in a battle where a lot of people think that the winner is a clear one but is this like this or do we just take some things for granted this is something that i would like to explore thank you so much for watching stay safe vst over